which one's the cardboard cutout? <laughs> well, it's not me, folks. But uh, no, no George yet. Sorry, I've got John, I've got Paul, I've got a Ringo. George is coming. We're working out something with the uh, Harrison Estate to get a George cardboard cutout for you, I promise. Uh, anyway, folks, how you all doing? Welcome to my channel. Really appreciate you being here. And this is a really fun video for me to do today because I love this band. Absolutely love this band. And I have since they first came on the scene, for me anyway, back in 1981. And I want to give them some love, show them some love, and I hope you'll join me for the ride. Okay, so that band is The Go-Go's. Now you're probably saying, Matt, you've never done a video about The Go-Go's. I know, folks, there's so many bands I love and cherish throughout my life, my musical life. And uh, I, I just have not been able to get to them all. And then something sparks me and I go, son of a gun, I got to do something about that. And The Go-Go's are one of those bands. Now, when I was in the U.S. Air Force in England for four years active, two years reserves, the first two years, from 1979 till 1981, I spent in England at an RAF base overseas. And I don't know when it was, I don't know if someone else had a single or an album, but it was around summer of 81 when I was over there that I heard about this album called Beauty and the Beat by the Go-Go's. And I had heard some dribs and drabs of it. I don't know whether, if other people in the dorm rooms had the songs or I heard them on the radio, I don't know. Um, but I know it was summer of 81 that their first album called Beauty and the Beat was released and folks, it was a smash, smash hit. Went platinum, two big hit singles off it, Our Lips Are Sealed and We've Got the Beat. Man, I loved it, loved it so much. Great album. They actually were the first all-female band who could write their own music, play their own instruments, and have a number one smash album. Yes, it's true. So I want to show you something right now. Here is my original first album, still in the shrink wrap, still with the hype sticker. All right, here's the back. And it shows the five ladies right there. We have Belinda Carlisle on lead vocals. We have Jane Weedlin who is rhythm guitar, vocals. We have Gina Schock, drummer, percussion, vocals. Charlotte Caffey, lead guitarist, vocals. And Kathy Valentine, bass and vocals. There they are, okay? And here's the inner sleeve, nice pink and blue inner sleeve with the lyrics and information. There's another great inner sleeve setup showing all the ladies, great. And I have the vinyl in a special uh, poly sleeve, but you can see the label. There it is. I have that right way? <laughs> I don't know, I can't tell on this thing. Anyway, great, great, great album, folks. I mean, it, it set me off for the last uh, almost 40 years of being a fan of the Go-Go's. Followed their career closely, never got to see them live, kicked myself for that. And they were supposed to be coming around uh, this past summer or this summer, but with all the COVID-19 baloney, they are, were unable to. But we're hearing that next year in 2021, they will be doing some shows. I'm going to try to see them before it's too late. I'd love to see them live. Now, they came out of the L.A. punk scene in the late 70s. They were pretty hardcore folks. They were not any just some little poppy girly band. These girls were rockers, punk rockers. They played it fast played it strong and loud, and as you know, with this album, Beauty and the Beat, they went on to worldwide fame. And you know, the shame of it is, folks, they only released four studio albums. There's some compilations, Greatest Hits, and uh, another compilation that has like B-sides, rarities, some live stuff, but as far as studio albums, new material, they only have four. Now, the second one came out in summer of 1982, just a year later, and they've talked about it, they think they were a little rushed doing this album because whereas Beauty and the Beat made number one in 1981, this one, their second one called Vacation, only made it to number eight, which 
that's pretty respectable. I mean, if you're a pretty new young band, you make number eight on the Billboard charts with an album, there's nothing to be ashamed of, you know? But I think after the success of the first one, some people looked at this as a little bit of a downslide, making only number eight. It, uh, you know, had the big hit song on it called Vacation. That was the big single, uh, top 40, uh, smash hit. And uh, this is a good album. This album didn't go platinum, though, like Beauty and the Beat. It only went gold. But you know what? It's a great little album. I enjoy it. I think it's fantastic. I mean, the videos, they've always put out great videos. The video for this song, Vacation, was fabulous, very innovative at the time. And I'll show you the inner sleeve. There's the back, and there's the ladies. And the, from looks like stills from the Vacation video. And the vinyl's pretty unique. They kind of did a special vacation label for it. There you go. Great, great album, folks. Now, what happened next was they waited a couple of years, and in March 19th of 1984, they released their third studio album called Talk Show. Made number 18 on the charts. So again, not quite as good as Vacation, not quite as good as Beauty and the Beat, but it's still a great, great album, folks. And I'm ashamed to say I had it, but I don't have it now. So you're going to have to look that one up to see what the cover looks like and everything. I apologize. Big hit single off it called Head Over Heels. And the shame of it is, it's probably one of my favorite out of the first three Go-Go's albums. It might be my favorite album uh, because there's so many great songs on it. There's great songs on all their albums. But if I had to rank them, I might put Talk Show up there because... I love the song Head Over Heels, I like the song Yes or No, Turn to You, Forget That Day, I'm the Only One, just great songs on talk show. Now you might be saying, Matt, what happened? Why don't you have talk show? <laughs> I'm going to be getting it, folks, I promise. It's going in my collection like ASAP. I had the vinyl, and like all things, you let someone borrow it or it goes somewhere, and that, the vinyl went to the winds. I don't know where it went, it's gone. I had it, it's gone. I don't know who has it, who took it from me, who forgot to give it back to me, but they did. But I had the cassette also, I had both. I had the vinyl, and I was a dedicated fan. I bought both formats. I had the cassette. Well, like a dope, you know, like some people did with their vinyl when they thought vinyl was going down. They got rid of all their vinyl collections. Thank goodness, I didn't do that. I still have my vinyl, but my cassettes, I was a dummy, and I got rid of them. I should have hung on to them. I didn't. I said, ah, cassettes. No one's ever going to care about cassettes. I got rid of them. I had talk show on a cassette that I used to play in my car all the time. It's gone. Anyway, let's move on, right? You're probably saying, all right, Matt, enough with that. But anyway, I wish I had talk show, but I don't. Then it was many, many years. They had breakups, came back, forth, and all that stuff. But in 2001, in May of 2001, they put on a put out an album which I consider right up there with their first three. It sits right alongside them perfectly. The album's called God Bless the Go-Go's. Here's the cover for it. God Bless the Go-Go's came out May of 2001. This is, believe it or not folks, 19 years old and it's their most recent studio album. Uh, there's great stuff on here. One of the big songs that, that really turned me on to this album it's called La La Land. I love it. But the whole album's great. I've got it playing in the background right now. I love it so much. Here's the uh, CD insert with the song listing. Open it up. We've got some lyrics and things here. All right. Credits. And a nice picture of the ladies on the back here. 2001, God Bless the Go-Go's. And folks, it's a fabulous album. I recommend all, all four of their studio albums, but the most recent one, so long ago. Uh, but it's a great album. It fits right in with the rest of the catalog, so check it out. Um, why am I back talking about Go-Go's again, getting back into them and stuff again, is because they are the subject of a brand new Showtime documentary called The Go-Go's. It's directed by Allison Elwood. It's fabulous just was released folks on showtime on july 31st if you get a chance folks check this 
out. Do it. I recommend it highly. You will get the whole picture of what this band is all about. Their ups and downs, their trials and tribulations, their love for each other, their sometimes hate for each other. The good, the bad, the ugly, it's all there, folks. You'll love it. And what's great about this is finally, and I'm hoping it sparks them to go further, but as part of this documentary, the girls got together and recorded a brand new song called Club Zero. Perhaps I'll put the link to that song here in my uh, comment uh, just down below. Folks, this song, it like shot up to the top of the Matt Street list of favorite go-go songs. Club Zero is a fabulous, fabulous addition to the Go-Go's catalog. Highly recommend you listen to it, get it, get the physical copy if you can, but get it, listen to it. It's fabulous, wonderful. Check it out, Club Zero, and please, ladies, if you ever watch this, or if somebody in your camp ever watches this, please think about recording another studio album. Let's, you know, let's make it a, an even five. <laughs> I know that's not even, but let's make it five, you know, a nice, five go go studio albums please let's do it okay that's it folks i just want to tell you check out some go go's check out the new showtime got documentary you'll love it and check out their brand new song club zero and let me hear some of your comments about the go go's are you a fan like i am do you love them like i do let me know that's it folks the go go's they deserve to be in the rock and roll hall of fame can you believe it they're not there What's the problem? Everyone else and their sister is there. You know, you know, why not the Go-Go's? Okay, folks, bless you all. Take care. God bless the Go-Go's. Bye-bye.